Welcome to Almost Here, Round the Corner of Future Technology podcast with Richard Jacobs. Future technologies poised to transform our lives for better or worse are the focus of this podcast. Almost Here means these technologies are now here and starting to be used or just around the corner from Bitcoin to artificial intelligence, 3D printing, blockchain, virtual reality, and more. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Future Tech Podcast. I'm your host, Juliet Lamar, and joining us today is Kenzie Wong. He is the general manager at HBUS. Welcome, Kenzie. Thank you, Juliet. Good to be here. Yeah, so glad that you're joining us. Um, for our listeners who might not know what HBUS is, go ahead and give us some background about the company and what you do. Totally. Um, so HBUS is the uh, strategic partner of Huobi Global. Um, Huobi Global, as you know, it's one of the biggest crypto exchanges in the world. So HBUS, it's the U.S. partner of Huobi Global. So in essence, we are a American crypto trading uh, marketplace. That's what we do. And my responsibility is um, operations and uh, marketing, BD, uh, basically, you know, helping the you know the uh, the company set up the uh, U.S. Uh, overall operation. Very interesting. So I guess, you know, there's a lot of different companies out there who are doing similar things to, to HBUS. What are some of the things that really set apart this company? Why do you think that it's one of the bigger exchanges in the world? Yeah, totally. So um, I think, you know, the key differentiations that we bring to the table is the fact that we are extremely secure. We have um, state-of-the-art technology um, leveraging our partnership with Wobi to make sure that there's no hacking and your personal asset protected. And secondly, is that we offer um, comparison to competitors in the marketplace, we offer much better and faster personal personalized uh, customer service. I think, you know, this is also a really important aspect of our differentiation as well because um, users right now in the crypto market is still very um, you know skeptical about services as well as you know their security of their assets so by offering great customer service we alleviate their concern and thirdly is the uh, you know offering of uh, many trading pairs um, that's also a, uh, a a differentiation that we have compared to some other players in the marketplace, such as Coinbase and uh, a number of other exchanges. And yeah, I think that's, you hit the nail on the head when people are first getting into to the crypto world. You know, they're worried that they're just going to be interacting with a machine. And if something goes wrong, you know, they're, they're, they're going to have to deal with this machine that might not be able to answer its questions or help with, with complicated problems. So tell us a little bit about how how you have a higher customer service. Is it is it more personalized? Is it is it people you're able to reach people on a telephone? What what really is the, the differentiating factor for your customer service? Yeah, so a lot of other crypto exchanges have outsourced their customer service mostly through chatting or emails. Whereas at HBUS, we are very proud about the fact that we have um, on-site employees in the office uh, that does customer service. You know, so we offer, we have an American team um, that answer questions and we track their responsiveness and, uh, you know, speed on, on responding as well as satisfaction rate. So we make sure that we listen to what the customers uh, want. And also we bring that back to our product team as well as a, you know, a addition to, uh, to bring our product team to speed and, uh, and help them build features that would help with our customers. That's what I mean by personalized um, customer service. So we attend to details and we listen to what the customers want. That's so important because when you listen to what the customers want, typically they're happier customers. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, we, we have been uh, tracking our satisfaction rate, uh, you know, the software that we use and uh, we, we've seen great results. Going back to the security, you were saying that this is more secure than other other similar corporations out there. Go into detail about about the steps you take to make this more secure and and how it is unhackable, as you say. Um, so the uh, crypto space is rampant with hacking, and mm -hmm. you know last year about eight hundred million dollars or so were hacked. So it's no small it's no small feat to uh, to build you know really good technology um, preventing that from happening. So what we set out to do is we leverage our relationship with Huobi 
um, Global, which is a company that has never been, you know, hacked, um, you know, or had a hacking incident uh, for the seven years of doing business. Um, so we have built a, a very good security system, firewall, and that, you know, is a leading technology in the space that we're very proud of and, uh, you know, to prevent us from being hacked. So that's what I mean by um, anti-hacking and security at HBUS. Yeah, the space is, the space is very rampant with, with hacking, and, and I think that is one of the main reasons why people are so hesitant to engage with the space. And I know you guys are making great strides with that at HBUS. What are some of the other challenges that you see in this space that HBS is finding solutions to? Um, so, you know, we are extremely focused on community. Um, and what, you know, what we're seeing right now is the crypto space is very much so still undergoing education. Um, so we put a lot of effort into uh, educating the community as well as listening to the community. So we have a Telegram channel. We have, you know, our social media team. Or we also have a BD team that goes out and we talk to our community members. We, we collect, you know, what they want to see on the marketplace in terms of feature sets, in, in terms of trading pairs of tokens that they want to see, and we listen to them. And I think that's very important, you know, so there's a feedback loop here. So we're very excited about the community focus uh, that we have at HBOS, and um, and we are very excited about you know the uh, you know the fact that we're 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 branding ourselves to be a you know a community focused exchange. That's that's you know that's how HBOS or we call it HBUS you know functions. Absolutely, and and you you do have a very high standard of compliance. For for the legal the legal things that are happening, uh, give us give our listeners just a little bit of insight into you know how you're superior in that way. Definitely. So we have a full compliance team. Um, so regulation and regulatory concerns and compliance is a big you know ever changing you know very fast in the space. And we have our compliance team that uh, is very dedicated on um, bringing, you know, uh, HBUS to a uh, to a very high level of compliance from um, and starting from uh, the uh, life to, you know, the um, coin listing as well as you know almost all the other legal aspects of the business. So we have a we have many business licenses that we can fully operate in the U.S. Um, we are also applying for other licensure as well at the moment. So we do pay a lot of a uh, lot of uh, you know attention on how we can be you know uh, how we can be extremely careful with compliance uh, on going forward basis. So for the user, um, walk us through a little bit about the user experience uh, as, as far as what you're going to be interacting with as a user. What currencies you can trade and the different fees associated. Definitely. So we offer a crypto to crypto um, virtual currency marketplace service as of right now. We just launched our service um, a week ago and now we're gradually adding trading pairs. So uh, it's a process that we are you know, co-marketing also with, you know, some of these uh, token companies that, you know, we are, you know, we, we just, we just started working with. And uh, we are also working on a very exciting mobile app that will be launched very soon. So we'll keep you posted on that. Fantastic. And so this is, a, is this an app that you have on your phone. And what are the, what are the cryptocurrencies you trade again? So right now we have about 12 trading pairs that mm -hmm. ranges from some of the leading um, currencies, including, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, you know, and we also have some, you know, other mainstream tokens as well. For example, Civic and Dash and Quantum. So a number of, uh, of trading, trading pairs um, have already been uh, launched and we're gradually adding more on a going forward basis. And what kind of fees can our users expect to see when using HBUS? Great, great question. So currently we are on the promotional period. So 
So for the first month, there is no trading fees. And also even more excitingly is that we are coming up with a so-called negative fee trading campaign. So as a trader on, you know, HBUS, for a limited time, you can actually get, you know, paid in uh, transaction fees, you know, if you qualify. So that's something that we're launching very soon. So that's yet to be announced. So um, we're very excited about, about that. Fantastic. Give us a little bit of uh, information background information on you. When did you first get bit by the crypto bug and what brought you into working at HBAS? <laughs> um, definitely. So yeah, so I uh, first got into the crypto space in 2012. I bought, you know, my first Bitcoin around that time. And I was very fascinated by uh, the blockchain technology in general, so much so that after my venture capital stint, I you know got into the crypto fund investment uh, set of things. So I started a a, uh, a crypto fund, AU21, um, with one of the biggest uh, Bitcoin miners in the world. Uh, so we we had the fund for about a year, and uh, we invested in about 30 or so companies. Um, so that's when I really got you know a better understanding about the ICO market and how you know, exchanges work. And from then, I decided that, you know, exchanges is something that I, you know, would like to know and understand a little bit more on the exchange business in general. So that's that's why I uh, I took a leap and I joined uh, HBuzz. That's, so that's my story. I always love hearing people's stories because everyone has this little unique thing that brought them to be in the space. And it's, it's always something that you don't expect. Yeah, definitely. There's it's definitely a journey because um, blockchain and cryptocurrency it evolves so fast, right? I'm still personally fascinated by the speed of its development. It's almost like every every month or so there's something new, and the industry is changing very very rapidly. So I'm blessed to be in the space. I'm very bullish on blockchain in general. Um, I'm very bullish on exchanges in general. I think there will be consolidation coming very very soon. But personally, I feel uh, I feel very excited to be living and breathing uh, blockchain, cryptocurrency, <laughs> being a crypto nerd, you know, all these now uh, every day. And that that really keeps you motivated in the space. You know, the, the things you touched on really get behind you and and keep you interested and engaged in in the cryptocurrencies in a time where. A lot of people might might shy away from it because it is getting so complicated. Yeah, I think you know our principle here is to make it easier for consumers to understand and adopt, right? I think it's just very similar to the early days of internet. You know, it's very cumbersome and hard to use. But um, cryptocurrency is getting through that uh, consumerization time period right now. And our goal here is to make it very simple for anyone to be able to buy to buy crypto and trade crypto and uh, and you know, um, and start to understand crypto more. So a lot of my friends, I've you know, I have brought them from tech, from Facebook, from Uber, into the crypto uh, currency blockchain space, and they are very appreciative um, of the space in general. So I'm hoping for more, um, you know, retail users as well as more people from tech in general to be in the space. And what are some of your predictions for the future moving forward? For blockchain in general? For blockchain in general and, and the cryptocurrency space. Right. So I think blockchain in general will be, you know, it, it, it is, it's the future. I think that's more of a long-term, you know, long-term vision that that's why, that's what drives this industry forward, right? You know, blockchain technology will change a lot of the existing, you know, functions and technology, how it plays in our lives. And I'm talking about on a very grand level, and things can change very, very fast once a specific industry uh, adopts the technology. For example, I think the first one will be the financial services industry. Um, so that that's our business. That is you know, the exchanges business, right? So we're in that forefront of, a financial service revolution, which allows us to be able to uh, send assets, receive assets, 
and would allow us to have you know different verticals of uh, the um, um, blockchain backed uh, fintech services for example custody you know for example loans lending all of that will come uh, you know, probably in the next five years um, but at the same time uh, cryptocurrency that's you know that's a different topic um, I think a lot of the you know uh, the new ICOs, they are still very high risk investment. And depending on their design and function, uh, I'm not sure how many of them are going to be long lasting. You know, so that's, that's why I think it's, it's very good that you brought them up as a separate topic here is that, you know, the, uh, the crypto asset business is a very different topic than blockchain technology in general. So, um, so as, as, Consumers, uh, you know, consumers should be very optimistic about uh, the technology in general. But when examining um, investments or investing in new crypto assets, I think a lot of the um, a lot of the uh, emotions should be left out. We should look at uh, these assets very objectively into actually what can they contribute to the overall blockchain economy in general and and uh, and and be careful with uh what you're investing absolutely absolutely so if people want to learn more about hbus what is the best way to connect to you and the best way for people to really dive in and get a, a deep dive for more information about your company uh totally yeah so we are located at uh com. We uh, have our office in the beautiful San Francisco area. Um, and the best way to find us is, you know, to follow us on Telegram on our Facebook page. And, uh, and we also would have news coming up uh, very soon about our negative trading campaign. So negative trading campaign. Um, so there are multiple, many ways to, uh, to reach us and also uh, follow us. Fantastic. Well, Kenzie Wong, thank you so much for coming on Future Tech Podcast and sharing your unique insight and information about this industry. Thank you, Julia. It's been a pleasure. That is Kenzie Wong. He is the general manager at HBUS. Again, you can find them at hbus.com. Thank you all so much for tuning in. This has been Juliet Lamar with Future Tech Podcast. You have been listening to Almost Here, Around the Corner Future Technology Podcast with Richard Jacobs. Subscribe to this podcast, post a review, to discover more future technologies that are poised to transform our lives for better or worse, such as Bitcoin, artificial intelligence, 3D printing, blockchain, virtual reality, and more.